Hi. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add sound effects to Radio Boss. So Radio Boss is a cool feature where we can add our own sound effects, our promos, jingles, um, anything VIP or anything important that we want to be able to click with just a button. So it's not only just adding it to your playlist. It's going to be a little option here to our right side that we can click on it and automatically our promo, whatever we want to go live, goes live instantly. So it doesn't have to wait for the queue or anything like that. So very first option or very first thing we have to do to add that option is at the very toolbar, we're going to click on the icon in the middle where it says work zones 2. We're going to click on it. It's going to open up to our right another work zone here so we can pretty much work in this area. Then we're going to click on the plus button in that work zone and we're going to click on cart wall. That's what we want to add for these sound effects. We're going to give it a name. In uh, many cases, people use promos or jingles. I'm just going to go ahead and add jingles. We're going to click on OK. And just like that, the work zone here, we have... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have 25 boxes pretty much that we can work with. So we can add 25 promos, jingles. It doesn't have to be just promos, jingles. It can be sound effects like people clapping, laughing, doors closing, cars driving by, anything like that. It's pretty much anything VIP that we want to just go ahead with a click of a button, go live. So once we have that ready to go and we have our files down into our computer, we're going to right click on the number one. It could be any number for you. We're going to click on edit. Then we're going to move the edit cart option here so we can see what we're working on. And on file name, we're just going to click on the three three icons right here, the three dots. Click on it. It's going to open up our music folder. You can just go ahead and look for your folder where you have the downloads, the jingles, promos, I think you're going to be using. And in my case, I'm going to be using Dribble Beat or Dribble Double Beat, the very first one. We're going to click on open. It's going to ask us to give it a name. We can just leave the preset or we can change it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the same it is. We can change the color here by clicking it. It just gives us a basic colors option and then define custom colors. In my case, I'll just go ahead and click on the red. We're going to click on OK, and then we have a test option. I'm not going to go ahead and click test because I have pretty much, um, we're setting up our audio cards here for different videos. But uh, in your case, if you don't have any issues with your audio card, you just go ahead and click on test, and it'll let you hear the sound effect before you go ahead and play it live. It's a great way to test it, you know, before going live and all of that. So and you can also change the volume. You can lower it or raise it. just depends on what audio you're playing. and It's just a matter of what you think would be perfect for it. But for my case, it's just pretty much a drum beat, so we're just going to leave it on volume. Yes. We're going to click on OK. And just like that, my beat is downloaded and ready to go. So all to test it, all we have to do is one click green for live. And then it shows us pretty much the time remaining before it goes live. And just like that here we have on air is just the sound of my test audio going air or going on the air. So red back to being offline. So it's the same process for number two. We just click right click edit. We're going to move the edit cart here. We're going to click on the three icons or the three dots. It's going to open up our music folder. Here we can also add songs. It doesn't just have to be pretty much short snippets. It can be promos for the station. It can be really whatever you like. Advertisements, just anything that you want to be able to play. At the click of a button, you can add here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a 105 Dribble Dobble Synth. We're going to click on it. We're going to give it a name. We're going to give it Test123. We're going to give it a color. Let's go ahead and choose blue. We're going to click on OK. Volume, we're going to leave it at is. Test, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We click on OK, and just like that, it's added. So we want to make it go live. Click of a button, green for live, and it's on the air right now. So this was basically a video on how to add the sound effects or how to add promos, jingles to the station in a faster way and making them go live. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Right click, delete. Are you sure? Yes. Work zones. We go to the very toolbar, work zones 2 to activate it, and then work zones 1 to go ahead and remove it. And all that pretty much happens is what we did is just gone. To activate it one more time, just at the toolbar, we activate the icon that's pretty much it's a book in half. We click on it, plus button, cart wall, we give it a name, station. We click on OK, and it gets added one more time. Then right click, edit. We move the edit cart option here, the window here, so we can see what we're working on. We're going to click on the three dots. We're going to add our song. We're going to give it a name here. I'm going to leave it as it is. OK, click it, and just like that, it's basically live. If you have any questions or comments in the Please leave them in the comment section below and we're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.